Father Judge, welcome to McQuaid. Thanks, Sean. It's great to be talking to you and to the whole community. It's great to be talking to you once again. As a little known fact uh, to some, I'm a 2002 graduate and Father Judge was my principal when I graduated. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about his time in McQuaid uh, in a little bit. Uh, let's start off, uh, Father Judge. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? New York City, born and raised. I grew up in Queens, New York, which is one of the other suburbs. Um, so we went with backyards and things. Uh, I had a brother and two sisters. I was the oldest one growing up. Uh, so I was sort of the educational trailblazer. Uh, and after we get done with grammar school, I won a scholarship to Regis High School in Manhattan. So I had an hour and a half commute each way uh, into school for four years. Uh, Regis was a terrific place. That was the first place I met Jesuits. I fell in love with them. Uh, and I was actually the last Jesuit in the province to enter after high school. So I entered in 1980, uh, and an officiate was in Syracuse, New York, where I was for two years. Um, and then uh, I did philosophy studies at Creighton University and at Fordham University. Uh, and then I taught at McQuaid for three years. Uh, then I went to theology in Berkeley, California for four years. and also did a master's degree in English at UC Berkeley. Uh, and then I was ordained uh, and I taught first Regis High School. And I was assistant headmaster at Fordham Prep, was principal at McQuaid, uh, and then back at Regis for 10 years as president of my alma mater. So. Um, it's great to be going back to Rochester. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm a New York City boy, but I like Rochester best, second best. <laughs> that's, that's all right. We'll, we'll take it. Uh, you had mentioned, and, and I mentioned that uh, you were one of my principal. I was a principal for five years at McQuaid in the early 2000s. Also as a scholastic, uh, you were at McQuaid for three years. And I'm pretty sure that the students you had back then liked you, as I noticed uh, you had the yearbook dedicated to you. Uh, it, I forget exactly what year, but being there only three years and having the yearbook dedicated, that's pretty impressive. Um, but what were some of your memories of your, of your two previous tenures uh, at McQuaid? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I taught English uh, both as a scholastic and part of my time as principal. Um, that's my academic field and what I really love to do. Um, and first time around, I taught almost all juniors, if I recall. Uh, and then what I most remember though, is I started McQuaid's speech and debate team, which had been on hiatus for about 20 years. So it was fun to bring speech and debate back to McQuaid. Uh, and that's where I got to uh, well, really know some people who have been lifelong friends since. Uh, so I really enjoyed doing that in my three years. You're right, it was a short period of time. Uh, a little funny story. Um, I didn't even know where Rochester was when I was assigned to it. Um, and I was certain I didn't want to be a teacher. Uh, and I got to Rochester, by the second day of classes, I'd fallen in love with teaching, and I've wound up in high schools ever since. So I owe an awful lot to those first years teaching at McQuaid. Um, when I wound up coming back as principal, um, that too was a really neat time. Uh, you know, it was a sad time. Uh, what I remember most about that five-year tenure was really 9-11, uh, and, and dealing with the whole aftermath of that horrible period in our country's history, but in particular in New York's history. Um, and I was really, really proud of the way that the McQuaid community came together during that time. Um, those five years were a time of a lot of change. If you think about it, 2000 to 2005, we were really coming into our own in technology and beginning to look at schedules. Uh, we had just opened the fine arts wing and had made a big push for fine arts education in the McQuaid. Um, and then really the last thing that happened before I left was we uh, redid the chapel for McQuaid's 50th anniversary. Uh, so that was a lot of fun and a good time to be there. Um, I also was happy that I was with two of my Jesuit classmates, Father Van Dyke and Father Salmon, um, both during that time. They were some of my best friends in the society, so it was a great time to be there. So after, after McQuaid, you returned to your alma mater and to become mm -hmm. president, uh, and it, where you originally fell in love with the Jesuits, as you said. What kind of experience was that for you, uh, getting to go back to your alma mater as a Jesuit, a place where you discovered the Jesuits, and lead mm -hmm. that school? Well, it was, it was uh, again, it was another terrific experience, but getting there was the interesting part. Um, my classmates, two of my classmates from high school were on the board of trustees, uh, and they were sort of assigned after my fourth year of employee to try to talk me into coming back as president. And I said no, uh, because I wasn't interested in being a president, I was interested in being a principal. Uh, and they sort of pressed me for reasons, and I said, well, at that, that point we were doing the NICEAS or certification, middle state certification from play. I said, there's no way I can leave during a year we're doing that. So they came back and said, well, how about if we hold the job for a year? Would you come then? <laughs> I said, well, at that point, I didn't have much choice but to say yes. Uh, so I went back. 
uh, it was hard to leave McQuaid, but you know, being enticed by your alma mater isn't a bad thing. Uh, and it was a great 10 year period. It was a fun time uh, and my tenure uh, ended with the 100th anniversary celebration of the school. So it was a lot of fun putting together that celebration. Um, it was a year long series of events that culminated in a dinner at the Waldorf Astoria, which we sold out the ballroom. So it was kind of fun. Um, you know, what I, my memories of that time, uh, the hard part was dealing with the recession of 2008. Uh, as you may know, Regis is all scholarship school and half of our budget came from investments. So that wasn't a lot of fun, belt tightening and trying to bring us out of that time. Um, one of the most fun things was every, every year, I did 10 years, I taught English and I had a freshman advisory group. So uh, that kept me sane during the day. I don't think I'll teach my first year back in McQuaid, but I'm looking forward to trying to do that further on. As someone who didn't want to become a president and then became a president of, of Regis for 10 years, 10 successful years, what did you learn as your time as, as president? I, I learned the importance of the strength of an alumni community. Um, I think until I got into the president's job, I was sort of, um, I dealt with kids at the school and I dealt with kids coming into the school. But once kids left the school, other than personal relationships, I, I didn't really keep in touch much. Um, Regis was the first place I got involved in the alumni community, uh, and that's a place with a very strong community, much like McQuaid's, I think. So I, I'm looking forward to getting involved with alumni, uh, looking forward to getting them more connected to the community that remains at McQuaid. Uh, one of the things I've certainly learned in my life is Jesuit education doesn't stop when you graduate. Uh, you know, you're Jesuit educated, uh, and you continue in that world and continue to be connected to that world well into the future. So I want to make sure people are connected to each other. Uh, I want to go back to what you said, Rochester being your second favorite city, perhaps, in New York. Uh, yeah, and as you mentioned, a New York City native and somebody who's spent most of their adult life in and around New York City. Um, what inspired you to want to come back to Rochester? Uh, was, it, was it one thing in particular? Was it the chance to become a president again after you got a taste of it? Uh, what, what was it? A number of things, actually. Uh, one of them, after I finished as president of Regis in 2015, uh, I moved to a job on the province staff, helping our provincial here in New York, where the headquarters is based. Um, to be honest, uh, you know, I think I did a good job there, but it wasn't a job I particularly enjoyed. I didn't deal with people much, uh, and I missed the classroom and missed kids. So I was very much looking forward to getting back into an educational setting. So after I finished six years in that job, and if you do the math, yes, you have it right. I had the president of Regis and doing that job for my last year. So um, I was looking forward after six years, which is a typical term, uh, of being able to leave that job and go back to the school. Um, and it so happened that I had joined McQuaid's board the year before, uh, and Father Reiser brought me in his hopes in terms of finishing up there. And I put two and two together and said, hmm, he's gone in one year. I'll be free in one year. Wouldn't that be a marriage made in heaven? Um, and the board seemed to agree, so I look forward to coming back. Now, in terms of place, yeah, I've spent a lot of time in New York. In particular, I spent the last 15 years living in Manhattan, um, which is a really exciting, fun, and interesting place. Um, although I am saying to myself, you know, I can do a little bit less with hustle and bustle uh, and do a little bit more with a place with suburbs and walk and trees and places to walk. Uh, so I'm looking forward, and I also know Rochester is for my time there is a very family friendly city uh, and a very friendly city in general. So I'm looking forward to coming back to that. As you do transition uh, to president and uh, coming back to McQuaid, what would you like to say to first uh, the current McQuaid community, our current students, our current families, uh, faculty and staff, and then uh, the, the greater McQuaid community, our alumni, uh, our graduate parents, those friends of McQuaid uh, who you do know, some you do know, and will get to know as uh, the weeks and months and years uh, go on. Um, well, the day before school ended, I got to do one of the morning greetings, uh, and, and I reemphasize what I said then to the McQuaid community, particularly to students and families, um, and also to the faculty and staff. Congratulations on surviving these last two months. Um, it's incredible. I mean, you will never forget this academic year, but we also had no idea this was going to happen. Um, you know, I think uh, on March 10th, everybody was thinking, okay, we're going to go along as normal. And then within a week after that, everything shut down. So I applaud the fact that you stuck with it, uh, that everybody figured out how to get through it. It wasn't perfect, 
I'm sure, uh, but everybody's stuck with it. Uh, so, you know, everybody gets a medal for doing that, I think. Uh, to the wider McLean community, uh, one of the things I'd sit there and say is take a look at what we did. Take a look at what this community did over those two months. But more importantly, take a look at what this community has done over the last 50 plus years. Um, how we've expanded our campus, expanded our reach, um, grown a full middle school, um, the impact we've made on our local community and the wider community. Um, you know, Jesuit education is very much for life. Uh, we send guys out in the world to change the world, uh, and I think they have. So I'm really looking forward to coming back and telling that story uh, of what McQuaid has done and continues to do uh, and helping it be stronger. Um, you know, schools never stop uh, changing, never stop growing. Uh, what we can do in the future will be every bit better than what we've already done up till now. So I'm absolutely convinced of that, and I look forward to taking on that challenge. Well, again, uh, Father Judge, uh, on behalf of everybody, the alumni community, the current community, uh, we welcome you, welcome you back. Uh, your, your third go around, we're excited to have you here. We're excited to have uh, to continue to have a Jesuit uh, in charge as president. Uh, it's wonderful to keep that, uh, that tradition going. Uh, and uh, we look forward to uh, good times ahead, better times ahead, healthy times ahead. And uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down and chat with me for a couple minutes uh, today. Thank you, Sean. Um, and I know the whole community knows, but uh, surgery you're going to undergo in the next weeks up in Boston. And please know our prayers are with you. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you when I get back to Rochester at some point. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.